Welcome to the next video on sentence diagramming. This one's going to pick up where we left off. In the last two videos, we learned about modifiers and how they add details to sentences. And we said modifiers are either adjectives, answering one of the four adjectival questions, or they're going to be adverbs, answering one of the four adverbial questions. These eight questions total are incredibly important to memorize. And the reason they are is because prepositional phrases, the next thing we're going to diagram, are very versatile. They act like modifiers. Prepositional phrases are groups of words that start with prepositions, and they act like adjectives or adverbs depending on what question they answer in the sentence. So knowing the four questions for adjectives, what kind, which ones, um, how many, and whose, will help you realize that a prepositional phrase is acting like an adjective. If a prepositional phrase is answering one of the adverbial questions, how, when, where, or why, then it is acting like an adverb and it's under the verb, okay? Now, when we diagram prepositional phrases, we put the preposition on a slanted line just like any other modifier. But remember, now we're dealing with the whole phrase. So if you remember from our parts of speech video, prepositions will take objects and form prepositional phrases. The object is simply the noun that's following that preposition. Okay? So in the trees, on the, on the beach, um, through the weekend, um, to the park, those are all examples of prepositional phrases. And they end with nouns. The nouns are called those objects of prepositions. When we take um, those prepositional phrases and diagram them. That object of the preposition, as you see in your sample here, it always goes underneath the prep, uh, the um, and connected to that slanted line that the preposition's on. So, if we take a look at our sample sentence here, we have the blue birds in the trees were chirping. Well. You can see that birds is our subject and word chirping is our verb or verb phrase as a review. Okay, uh, but now we've got this prepositional phrase in the trees. How do I know? Well, in is the preposition, that's the relationship word, and trees is the object of that preposition in. So that prepositional phrase can act like an adjective or an adverb. In this case, it's acting like an adjective, and that's because it's answering an adjectival question. Which one is it answering? It's answering the question, which ones? Which birds? Oh, those ones in the trees, that's which birds, okay? And it's because it's answering an adjectival question, it's underneath the noun, the subject in this case, birds, okay? Let's take a look at an example of a prepositional question that's acting like an adjective, or an adjective. So here we have another sentence, and it's the rabbit hopped through the pretty garden. We have our subject of the sentence, it's rabbit, and we have the verb, hopped, okay? But we have this prepositional phrase. How do I know it's a prepositional phrase? Well, it starts with that relationship word, that preposition, Okay, a relationship in space or time through, and then it will always have a noun after it that we call the object of that preposition. Now, it might have some other modifiers in front of it, but garden is the object of the preposition through. So that phrase, you can see how it's diagrammed, preposition on a slanted line, object of that preposition branching off of it, okay? So we have through and garden. Um, but we know it goes under the verb, hopped, because what question does it answer in the sentence? It answers the question, where, which is adverbial. Where is an adverbial question? It's one of the four we learned. So if you realize that through the pretty garden answers a question where the rabbit hopped, it's going to go under the verb, hopped. And therefore, the prepositional phrase is acting like an adverb. That's how it works. And obviously, as in this example, you can see that the object of any preposition, um, in this case, garden, 
can have its own set of modifiers branching off of that. So pretty answers the question, what kind of bar? Okay. Now, let's take a look at some examples. We'll look at five sentences that demonstrate different elements of diagramming prepositional phrases. Okay? We're going to start with the first one, the flowers in the garden are growing. Now, ask yourself the question, what is the sentence about? The question is, the sentence is about flowers, right? So, what about the flowers? That's the predicate. Draw our firewall. What about the flowers? Well, flowers are growing. Are growing is our predicate. And in this case, as a review from a previous unit, we have a verb phrase. Remember, we have a helping verb, are, and we have a main verb, growing. So the verb grow is just changing in tense, okay? R is helping it do that. Remember, verb phrases might have, will have, a helping verb or more and a main verb, okay? So flowers are growing, subject, verb. Now, I like to cross things off when I'm using them. It's good practice. Let's see what else we can do. The answers what question about the flowers? Which flowers? So the is adjectival, right? Which ones is an adjectival question? Now, hopefully a, a light's going off for you. In the garden is an example of what? A prepositional phrase. How do I know? In is a relationship word. It's a preposition, right? Showing us a relationship in space or time. And garden is that object that follows a preposition, and it, there will always be an object. So it's the object of the preposition in. So now we have to figure out where it goes. It goes under what it modifies, what it answers a question about. And in the garden answers what question? Well, it answers the question, which flowers, which ones? Oh yeah, those ones in the garden. Therefore, which ones, remember, is one of our adjectival questions. So we know that the prepositional phrase in the garden goes under the noun, acting like an adjective, that it modifies. In the garden answers the question, which flowers? Now you might ask yourself, well, why can't I say in the garden ans answers the question where they're growing? And if it answers the question where, isn't that adverbial? True, it would be. But as a rule, we always take phrases and words that are modifiers. We always say that they should be closest to the word that they modify. And notice that in the garden comes before the verb phrase. The firewall is a split. Everything on one side is the subject and everything on the other side is the predicate. So because we have that split there, it should be a signal to you that in the garden is actually talking about the flowers. It's answering the question, which flowers, not where they're growing, okay? Let's move on to the second one. The second sentence is, did the green box with the blue lid fall? Now this is a question, so we have to flip it. Remember we did this in a previous video. That becomes the green box with the blue lid. Did fall. Okay? So let's diagram it. Now we've got it gotten it straightened out and unscrambled. Our subject is box. What about the box? Well, it did fall. Notice what I did with the punctuation and uh, capitalization. That lets us know that when we're looking at the diagram, it was originally in the form of a question. Okay, let's get rid of these. We use them. Did fall and box. So we're left with the green and with the blue lid. Well, the answers what question? It answers the question, which box? Green answers the question, what kind of box? both adjectival. And now we have with the blue lid. With the blue lid is another prepositional phrase. With being the preposition, lid being the object of that preposition. 
So what does it answer in the question? It answers the question, which box? That one with the blue lid, that's the one. It's just giving us more detail about the box. So that lets us know that if it's answering which one, it is, again, adjectival, because that's an adjectival question. Okay? So with is the preposition. Lid is the object of that preposition. And then are there words describing the lid? Oh, yeah. The answer is which lid. And blue, what kind of lid? See how that works? Let's move on to another sentence. And this sentence is going to have a few prepositional phrases in it. The rusty shovel with the blue handle sat in my garage. All right. Shovel is our subject. Firewall. What did the shovel do? What about the shovel? Oh, yeah, it sat in my garage. So sat's my simple verb, right? My simple predicate or verb. Let's cross this off. The answers a question, which shovel? Rusty answers a question, what kind of shovel? With the blue handle is an example of a, you guessed it, prepositional phrase. With being the preposition, handle being the object of that preposition. Now, it answers the question, which shovel? It gives us more details about the shovel. So which shovel is adjectival? So that's why that prepositional phrase goes under shovel. Okay? Handle being the object of the preposition here. Now, in my garage is another what? Prepositional phrase. Answering what question? There. And where is an adjectival? It's adverbial. It's answering the question where it's sat. So it's modifying sat. So we know in goes under sat. What's the object of preposition in? Garage. And whose garage? My garage. Okay? That's how we determine that in the garage is an adverbial preposition phrase, answering the question where. Now, number four is the last one we're going to do. I told you that generally prepositional phrases are closest to the words that they modify, but there's an exception to that. Not always when you see this, what's called introductory, introductory prepositional phrase. How do I know it's introductory? It has a comma. That's why we put a comma there. We're kind of moving it out of its natural location, away from what it's intended to modify. You'll see in a minute. Let's first diagram the cool rain falls on the soil. What's the subject in the sentence? Rain. Well, what about that thing? Fire. Well, it falls. Okay, so we're good. We have our simple subject and our simple predicate. Now, the and cool answer what question? The answers which rain? And cool answers what kind of rain? All right, so they're both adjectival. On the soil is a prepositional phrase. What's an answer? It answers the question, where? It starts with a preposition. Here's our object of that preposition. The whole phrase answering where it what? Where it falls. That's an adverbial question. So it goes under the verb on the soil. Okay? Now, let's go back to this thing that we said all the way in the front of the sentence. Shouldn't it be part of the subject? That's why that comma is there. In April answers what question? Hopefully, you realize it, it answers the question when something fell, when the rain falls, and when is an adverbial question, so it will go under the verb because it's acting like an adverb. In, I've got to capitalize in because it's the first word in our sentence. April, make sure you add the comma. All right? So, the exception is when you have an introductory phrase, that's why we have commas there. We're changing the order in which things naturally would fall. Okay? Thank you for watching this video. It, I know I covered a lot when it talked about prepositional phrases. You have to know the adverbial and adjectival questions to know where they go. Okay? Thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next video.